Meanwhile, Christian having to face Omega for the Impact World title on Friday. Good exposure for Impact or a bad booking idea? Ooh. So, this is actually an interesting topic. Like, how do you guys personally feel about this match being on Dynamite? So, yes, it is official. We are getting Kenny Omega versus Christian Cage at Rampage tomorrow for the Impact World Championship. With this being an Impact World Championship match, I feel like there's a, there's a great chance. Maybe not, like... An immense but a great chance that Christian Cage could beat Kenny Omega for the Impact World Championship and then they do a title versus title match all out and make it bigger stakes the only thing I don't like about that is that Kenny Omega would get would lose because Kenny Omega hasn't been pinned I believe since what since his match with John Moxley like back at what let's check pro wrestling fight DB because I honestly off the top of my head can't tell you was the last time Kenny Omega pinned Kenny Omega and we're gonna see when's the last time Kenny Omega's taken a singles loss. Uh, it's going down the line, going down the line. A lot of singles wins here. So we're going all the way back to February, and I'm not seeing any singles losses for Kenny Omega. So it looks like he hasn't lost a singles match in over a year. So it looks like the last time Kenny Omega lost a singles match was to John Moxley at AEW Full Gear in 2019. That looks to be the last time that Kenny Omega lost a singles match in AEW. And the question is, is Christian Cage the guy you guys decided would put in there as the person to beat Kenny Omega? And it's like, when I say that out loud, it's like, no, I wouldn't have it be Christian. Like, of course, people will say, oh, Heyman Page. And I agree, Heyman Page should be the guy to beat Kenny Omega. But it's like, okay, it's not Hangman now. So, oh yeah, you brought up a good point. That was a light top match, so technically it doesn't count. So technically, that doesn't even count. So let's go to 250 and scroll down. So his last singles loss in AEW was to Pac at AEW Fight for the Fallen in 2019. July 13, 2019 was the last time Kenny Omega lost in AEW. July, that's, a, that's two years ago. Kenny Omega has not been pinned in two years. Because technically, the John Moxley loss doesn't count. That's crazy. And then you count the Chris Jericho loss. He's only been pinned two times on AEW. <clears throat> so the question now lies. Do you guys think Christian Cage should be the guy to put an end to that streak? And honestly, when I say it out loud, no, I don't think Christian should be that guy. I mean, they can obviously do some BS finish to put Christian over. But even then, he would still have to physically pin Kenny Omega to win the Impact World Championship. So let's say, okay, he doesn't win. He doesn't win. And Kenny Omega beats him. Kenny Omega's already beaten Christian. So why is Christian getting another match at All Out? 